What's good guys? It's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will continue to answer some of your questions that you have been leaving on my lock content videos. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the first question we have here is, I am six months locked and I am having problems with flakes being stuck in the roots of my locks. I also had this problem when I was a loose natural too. I only use oil and water on my scalp. I really don't want to cut them. Do you think an ACV soak will help? Okay, wait, wait, wait. If we're talking about just like flakes and like um, stuff like that, then yes, I certainly think um, an ACV soak will definitely help with that type of um, um, build up or problem that you may have with your hair and scalp um, but as it relates to deeply embedded build up like I've spoken about on my channel so many times you know I have a different point of view on that and I will definitely go ahead and link some videos above as well as in the description bar below for you to hear my opinion my stance on the ACV soak when it comes to embedded build up in your locks but as it relates to like flakes and cleaning your scalp, definitely go ahead with an ACV soak or rinse. It will certainly help. Okay, so the next question we have here is, when are you going to do an update on your son's braid locks? Well, I definitely already have an update on my channel in regards to his um, braid lock journey. So go ahead and check the link above or even in the description bar below for the link to that video. But I certainly have an update on my channel regarding his journey. Okay, so the next question here is how do you make locks thinner? Wow, now that is an interesting question. Like most people are interested in making their locks thicker, but ooh, to make your locks thinner, I don't think, I don't think you can actually make your locks thinner. Like, if you want your locks to be thinner, I would definitely suggest undoing your current locks and starting over because the, um, the sizing of your locks is totally dependent on you know how you formed your sections right and um, if you don't necessarily want thick locks then you know you would have had to start your locks um your sections much sh um, smaller sorry so um i don't think there is a way to make your locks thinner if you're already along your lock journey and um, the only time when i know locks uh, become thinner is if they are damaged or you, you know you're not taking care of them um and that is not necessarily a healthy look but if you just want smaller locks then i would highly suggest combing out your current set and restarting and i also have a video on my channel which um shows you how to you know comb out your locks in a safe way where you're not damaging your hair and you will be able to retain a lot of your length and then you can start your new lock journey so definitely go ahead and check that video out okay so moving on to the next question i have what can i do about the frizz now i have spoken about frizziness when it comes to um you know when you're along your lock journey and i highly you know will say to anyone who's ex um, experiencing the frizzy stage is embrace it it is all part of your lock journey and um, the frizzing definitely helps with the locking of your hair now um if you don't want your hair to frizz up then I will highly suggest keeping your hair covered, especially in the nighttime when you do go to sleep. Um, but yeah, when it comes to the frizz, certainly embrace it. Definitely embrace it. But um, if you really, really don't want to deal with your frizz and it's like crazy frizzy right now and you just like, listen, I just really want to um, get rid of this frizz, um, there's two options. One, you can trim um, the, the frizzy, um, you know, the loose hairs if you want to, which I don't necessarily recommend. But, you know, if you really want to get rid of your frizz, you can certainly do that. Or you can um, crochet your um, loose hairs, like pull them back into the lock. Now, I do have a video on how I repaired my thin locks when, you know, I was going through postpartum 
here last when I had my locks and I showed you guys how I was able to um, you know crochet and pretty much tighten everything back up and I showed you guys how I used the um, the crochet hook to pull my loose hairs into the lock so I will definitely go ahead and link those videos link that video <laughs> for you to check out if you don't want to cut the um, the frizziness off of your locks okay so moving on to the next question I have whenever I retwist when I take the clips out my hair it goes back to how it was before and my hair doesn't hold what am I doing wrong all right so when I whenever I retwist when I take the clips out my hair it goes back to how it was before and my hair doesn't hold what am I doing wrong your hair is not holding when you take the clips out now um, if it's not holding first and foremost are you even using um, a holding product on your locks now if you are not then that could be the reason why but not necessarily because you can actually retwist your hair without hold products and I have a video on that as well to show you the different results you get now um, if if it's not holding because it says when you take the clips out, it goes back to how it was before. Like, does it go back to how it was immediately? Or is it like um, after a couple of days? Because that also come down to the maintenance. Like, how are you maintaining your hair? Are you keeping your hair, get my words out. Are you keeping your hair covered in the nighttime when you're laying down, etc.? Like, those things play a part. But um, your hair shouldn't necessarily be going back. And are you retwisting your hair dry or are you retwisting it wet? You know, because if you're retwisting it dry, more than likely it will go back to what it was before. But when you do it wet or you use products, it will hold much more. So that may be a, a, um, a defining factor in your retwisting session. But um, if you aren't using um, whole products I would highly suggest using whole products and if you're doing it dry I would highly suggest doing it on damp hair okay so moving on to the next question I have I locked my hair 10 months ago and they are unraveling what should I do hmm wait I locked my hair 10 months ago and they are unraveling what should I do so you're 10 months locked right and your locks are unraveling okay well that definitely comes down to your texture like the texture of your hair can really um, impact your locking um, journey right your lock journey um, I've mentioned this in my video um, five tips to consider before um, or five things to consider before starting your lock journey and your hair texture definitely 100% um, affect the locking process because if you think about it if you have looser curls or straighter hair um, in comparison to someone who have really curly hair um, their hair will lock much faster someone with curlier hair because if you think about loads of tiny curls like intertwining with each other but if your curls are loose um, or more straight then there is not a lot of friction or not friction but there's not a lot of loops and curves and curls for them to intertwine so it could take longer so I think that definitely depends on your hair's texture and if that is the case what should you do I would say just um, stay the course because it will eventually lock but if you really want them to lock because I mean I can just about imagine if I've been locked for 10 months and my hair ain't locking yet I'll be like what the heck is going on you can try um, um, hmm you could try I would say either crocheting your hair you know using the crochet needle to pull your hair in and help to create friction so that it could um, start locking um, and I was gonna say interlocking as well but interlocking don't necessarily make it lock faster it just keeps everything together um, so I would definitely suggest try crocheting your locks um, your hair together to see if that helps to create the friction now if that don't work and you are very impatient you're like yo forget this I will highly recommend try combing out your locks and restarting your journey 
um, with this method, right? You know, when if, if your hair is more straighter or your texture is more, your curls are a little bit more loose, um, I know um, when people with straight hair are starting their lock journey, more so instant locks, they back comb their hair to create more, um, you know, like a, like to, to bundle the hair together. And then it, you know, kind of creates a little heaping off the hair and then they crochet together so it locks much faster. Like everything is more intertwined. It's all like scrunched up and, you know, compact. Um, so I would suggest that if you have a more looser texture here, because that's the only way I can see your hair not locking um, after being on your lock journey for 10 months. Like, if your hair is quite curly, I would highly expect it to be locked at this point or start to lock more locked than ever. But if it's more loose or straight, that's the only way I could see that it's um, not locking at this moment. So definitely try those um, options out and let me know how you get on with it. So the next question I have is, out of curiosity, what products were you using on your locks? Now, I do have a video where I shared um, the products I was using on my locks. I don't really use a lot of products. I didn't use a lot of products when I was on along my lock journey, but I'll go ahead and link that video for you to check out to see the different types of products I was using. Okay, so the next question we have is, how many years do you need to have locks in order to retain length? How many years do you need to have locks in order to retain length? You don't need to have locks for any amount of years <laughs> to retain your length because if you think about it like this whatever length you started with um say you started with two inches and then six months later you decide to comb out your locks whatever amount of growth you had within that time frame you would retain that length providing that you're combing out your if you're combing out your locks um, providing that you're doing it in a um, safe manner where you're not damaging your hair you will retain majority of that length right so yeah um so it doesn't necessarily depend on how long how many years because the question was how many years do you need to have locks in order to retain length you will retain whatever length you have started with within any time frame when you're ready to comb out your locks because that's the only way you will retain length is if you're combing out your locks because if you're cutting your locks you're cutting away all that length so providing that you're combing it out you will retain all the length that you have well majority of the length that you have because just like with me uh, when i combed out mine i had 14 inches of hair but by the time i was done i had um ten and a half inches because I lost a lot of hair um, you know but I believe that also come down to postpartum hair loss which I have spoken about in one of my videos which I'll link for you to definitely check out to hear what I had to say about that but for the majority if you're not experiencing postpartum hair loss <laughs> then like my son Jaden you would have seen in the video where I shared where I combed out his locks he retained a lot of length he retained his length plus more so yeah all right so the next question we have here is i used to have dreads but now i have twists and they keep on wait 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 i'm reading that wrong i used to have dreads but now i have twists and they keep locking up i don't know how i don't know how i don't know basically how do i fix this this is what they're asking me so let me just read that question all over again i used to have dreads but now i have twists and they keep locking up how do i fix this okay now hmm how do you fix this if your hair keeps locking up are you maintaining a moisturizing routine because when your hair isn't moisturized it tend to tangle a lot more than when it's not moisturized right now I have a video where I share with you how I keep my loose natural hair moisturized so you can definitely check that video out and see if that would be helpful but um if your hair is um, locking back up it's because your hair is dry and when your hair is dry it tangles more easily and because now you're doing back a twist which I don't know if that's how you is that how you said you started your lock journey you know you just said you used to have dreads and now you have twists so it's like the hair wants to lock together so I would highly suggest 
checking out my video on my moisturizing routine and you can either start off with something like that or develop your own um, moisturizing routine so yeah I think your hair is locking back up because you may not be moisturizing your hair often okay and the final question for today is if you have a looser or a more kinkier hair texture um, does that affect length retention do you have more or less length retention no no your hair texture does not affect length retention your hair care routine affects length retention so um, like I said again if you're combing out your locks or something like that how you go about um, taking down your locks will certainly affect length retention if you are just pulling at your hair and ripping it as you go along you're gonna lose a lot of hair but if you're careful and gentle then you will retain a lot of length but your hair texture plays no part it plays absolutely zero part in length retention um, so don't think oh my hair is more kinky so I'm not gonna have more length but to be honest kinkier hair curlier hair is much longer than people think because when my hair when I wash my loose natural hair and it shrinks and then I stretch it you're like oh wait a minute that little ball on your head actually stretched all the way down to here so don't be deceived by the kinks so no you don't have less retention if your hair is more kinky or straight or loose is that what it says looser you know it all depends on how you care for your hair that's what um, determines your length retention so do not be fooled do not be fooled length retention comes down to how you maintain your hair strands okay so that's it for today guys i hope you guys found today's video very helpful and if you did then please make sure to give me a big massive thumbs up drop a comment share this video and do all the engagement stuff that you need to do so that youtube could see that this video is of value and they can push it to other people so that you know others can benefit from this video just like you have so definitely go ahead and show me some love by giving me a big massive thumbs up and let me know how you found this video. So until next time guys, I will be right back here with another video.